Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Are you preparing for the ISC 2CC exam or planning to attend the ISC 2CC certification exam? In this video series, I am presenting the most important questions that I have practiced during my ISC 2CC exam preparation. In today's video, I am presenting 20 important questions that may be asked on the ISC 2 Certified in Cybersecurity Certification exam. If you're enjoying our videos and want more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's get started. 1. Which security principle specifies that no user should ever be granted sufficient privileges to abuse the system? A. Defense in depth. B. Least privilege. C. Separation of duties. D. Privileged accounts. The correct answer is C. Separation of duties. Explanation Separation of duty states that no user should ever be granted sufficient privileges to abuse the system. 2. Which access control model leaves a certain level of access control to the object owner's discretion? A. DAC B. MAC C. RBAC D. ABAC The correct answer is A. DAC Explanation Discretionary access control DAC, leaves a certain level of access control to the object owner's discretion. 3. In risk management, the lowest priority is given to a risk where a. The likelihood of occurrence is low, but the expected impact is high. b. The possibility of occurrence is high, but the potential impact is low. c. The frequency of occurrence is high, but the projected impact is low. d. The estimated chance of occurrence and possible impact are both low. The correct answer is, D. The estimated chance of occurrence and possible impact are both low. Explanation The highest priority is given to risks estimated to have a high impact and high probability, whereas the lowest priority is given to risks having a low probability of occurrence and having a low impact. 4. A type of software that appears authentic but has hidden malicious tasks is an example of A. Rootkits B. Whaling C. Trojans. D. Phishing. The correct answer is C. Trojans. Explanation Trojans are software programs that look authentic but actually perform harmful tasks that circumvent security measures. 5. Which type of attack attempts to compromise the availability of a system or service through a malicious overload of requests? A. Trojans. B. Denials of service. C. Cross site scripting. D. Phishing. The correct answer is B. Denials of service. Explanation A denial of service attack, DOS, is defined as compromising the availability of a system or service by a malicious overload of requests, which causes safety systems to hold off or prevent the system's or service's availability. 6. Which cloud model enables the provisioning of applications, programming libraries, services, and tools? A. IS. B. Pass. C. FOS. D. SAS. The correct answer is B. Pass. Explanation Platform as a Service, Pass. Enables the provisioning of applications, programming libraries, services, and tools. 7. How many layers exist in the TCP IP model? A. 5. B. 6. C. 4. D. 7. The correct answer is C. 4. Explanation The TCP IP model consists of four layers the network layer, the internet layer, the transport layer, and the application layer. 8. Which protocol uses two way communication? A. SNMP. B. UDP. C. TCP. D. SMTP. The correct answer is D. SMTP. Explanation Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, uses a two way handshake to send emails. 9. Which of the following is an administrative security control example? A. Bollards. B. Fences. C. Turnstiles. D. Guidelines. The correct answer is D. Guidelines. Explanation Guidelines are the type of administrative security controls while bollards, fences, and turnstiles are the physical security controls. 10. 
the inability to dispute the production, approval, or transmission of information is known as a. Authentication b. Non-repudiation c. Confidentiality d. Integrity The correct answer is b. Non-repudiation Explanation Non-repudiation is the inability to dispute the production, approval, or transfer of information. 11. Which cybersecurity concept concerns the maintenance of data consistency, correctness, and trustworthiness? a. Accessibility b. Authentication c. Confidentiality d. Integrity The correct answer is d. Integrity. Explanation In cybersecurity, integrity concerns the maintenance of data consistency, correctness, and trustworthiness of data. 12. The property of data being consistently and readily accessible to the parties authorized to access it is known as a. Availability b. Accessibility c. Confidentiality d. Non-repudiation The correct answer is a. Availability Explanation Availability is the property of data being consistently and readily accessible to the parties authorized to access it. 13. Which of the following is a disaster recovery plan? A. A plan for data ownership and destruction. B. A plan to detect, respond to, and minimize the adverse effects of a cyber attack. C. A plan for maintaining business operations while recovering after a substantial disruption. D. A plan to prepare the organization for the continuance of vital business functions. The correct answer is D. A plan to prepare the organization for the continuance of vital business functions. Explanation A plan to prepare the organization for the continuance of vital business functions is called a disaster recovery plan. 14. Requiring a complex attribute rule to access resources is an example of A. DAC B. RBAC C. ABAC D. MAC The correct answer is C. ABAC Explanation, attribute-based access control, ABAC, needs a complex attribute rule to access resources. 15. Which of these malicious features listens for commands on a specific logical port? A. Backdoor B. Trojan C. Keylogger D. Logic Bomb The correct answer is, A. Backdoor Explanation. A backdoor is a malicious feature that listens for commands on a specific logical port. 16. Which of the following devices routes all incoming data packets to all connected devices? A. Switches. B. Hubs. C. Routers. D. Firewalls. The correct answer is, B. Hubs. Explanation. Hubs can't route data based on destination address. As a result, all connected devices receive all incoming data packets. 17. Which of these types of malware do not replicate themselves and need human intervention? A. Rootkits B. Virus C. Trojan D. Worm The correct answer is C. Trojan. Explanation. Trojans do not replicate themselves and need human intervention for relying. 18. In the access control list, ACL, the element that is user or process run by a user, which inherits the user authorization, is a. the rule b. the firmware c. the object d. the subject The correct answer is d. the subject. Explanation The subject is a user or process run by a user, which inherits the user authorization. 19. Which type of recovery site requires space, power, network connectivity, systems, and data to be put in place to take over operations? A. Cold site. B. Warm site. C. Cloud site. D. Hot site. The correct answer is A. Cold site. Explanation A cold site requires space, power, network connectivity, systems, and data to be put in place to take over operations. 20. In an incident response process, which phase involves the removal of artifacts related to the incident? A. Containment. B. Identification. C. Eradication. D. Preparation. The correct answer is C. Eradication. 
Explanation The eradication phase involves the removal of artifacts related to the incident, and containment limits both the scope and the impact of the incident. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on cybersecurity multiple choice questions. Drop a comment below if you have any queries on these questions. Best of luck for your upcoming examination. See you in the next video.